Hey guys, and welcome to your daily mobility flow. I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't stretched in a week. If you were here last week, pause. Starting in pigeon. <sighs> pigeon up. Okay. I haven't stretched in a week. I was at the beach last week and I took the week off. Obviously, I posted five videos last week, but still, I had to build to getting five videos shot and edited and uploaded and done before I left, which was interesting like, to work on a project like that kind of way out in advance, but it was good. I took the week off, um, just hung out with my family, mostly with nieces and nephews, my siblings and my parents, and just hung out, tried to get a tan. Do I look tan? I hope I look tan. My hair is probably looking longer than it looked on Friday when that video came out because it's actually been like 10 days or eight days. All right, let's switch sides. I still worked out some, but pretty simple. You know, the gym was closed still at the resort that we stayed at. And uh, so it was just body weight. Um, and my brother-in-law brought up here 25 pound dumbbells. So I could use those too a little bit, but it was pretty simple overall. My foot, this left foot, uh, my fifth metatarsal, the bone that goes down the outside of your foot is still pretty sore from that 48 mile run, the 24 hour run that we did. All right, switch back. Like it's it's pretty tender still. I don't really ever run on pavement that much. Even the longer uh, ultra marathons that I've done, 31 miles, 50 miles, stuff like that, are always on trails. There's maybe five miles over the whole thing that hit pavement because you cross roads and you do short stints on roads to get from one trailhead to another. But it's really pretty much all switch back trail and so it's a lot softer so that was pretty new for me to do 48 miles on pavement uh, and my that bone is still pretty sore I'll probably jump back into doing some higher impact weightlifting a little too soon truthfully also and made it worse but yeah I'm not perfect I'm not perfect but I tell you what it feels really good to stretch this is, I mean I miss you guys I miss you guys. I needed this. I needed this all real bad. All right, let's go into a lunge. I'm gonna switch legs into the front. You can start on either side, it's totally fine. And we're just gonna go elbow down, open up. I paid the price for not stretching for a week. I paid the price super tight back, you know, and you're sleeping in a bed that's not yours. And I've never been very good at like taking my own pillow and stuff. It's just not a thing that I've ever cared much about, but maybe I'm just getting old and I need to start taking my own pillow. My back is tight and I need to stretch. I actually thought I was going to shoot this yesterday and get a day ahead of what my normal routine is. All right, let's change sides. But I got a new computer the day that we left um, for the beach. Elbow down, open up. And this room was filled with boxes. Just too much junk, way too much. So I just moved the boxes out. That's what this white foamy is. There's still some foam pieces scattered around the room that I didn't clean up. So I had to move them out the boxes. The computer's set up, it's behind the camera. Tell you what, I can never, ever go back. All right, go and rest to a single screen CPU. Once you get two screens, once you do work on a computer that has two screens, all right, let's sit back on your feet. 
We're gonna work back and forth, kind of open up your ankles and pigeon, I mean, not pigeon, but uh, reclining here a little bit. So just kind of work back, not all the way down. And then we're gonna hinge, push the toes into the ground, sit back, one knee out, other knee out, open up the hips. And then we're just gonna rock that back and forth for a minute. Yeah, once you have two screens and you get used to doing that, especially when you're trying to edit like a video, uh, which I've been doing, you know, have a video editing on one side and loading it on the other side or just all kinds of stuff. I just can't do it, can't go back. So I got a, a new CPU, a new computer um, with the power to actually really do two things at once. My old Macs just weren't strong enough for it. So I upgraded two identical screens because I can be a little bit, uh, I like the way things look, you know, I can be kind of particular about stuff like that sometimes. All right, last one. And it's very nice. It's just nice to have a nice clean room. I need a bigger desk though. I'm looking at the desk right now that you can't see. Maybe if you stick around to the end of the video, I'll show you what it looks like. Maybe tomorrow. <laughs> but, uh, all right, we're gonna go belly down now. I'm just gonna take a sip of coffee first. We're just gonna open up the shoulders real quick. We're gonna do them both back to back. So we're gonna find enough space that we can put both arms out to the side and we're gonna switch back and forth, stretch out your shoulders and your low back and the little scorpion. So I'm gonna to roll to one side, over, come back, shift arms. Hope this is in frame. And let's work back and forth for maybe 10 or so reps, five per side, and that'll be it. So, yeah, I mean, I only have 24 inch monitors which is like a typical size and they're curved. So it, you know, it's not as wide as they would be otherwise, but it takes up like the whole desk in here, like the entire thing. It's not a very big desk, but. Oh yeah, feels so right. Let's finish this up. Last one. I still don't know which side I went to first. I think maybe I went to this side first. So I'm gonna do one more for good luck. And that is your daily mobility flow. Thank you guys for stretching while I was on vacation last week. Thank you guys for stretching today. Um, I'll see you guys tomorrow. I uh, really appreciate you. And maybe I'll show you the computer then. Later.